Well, Ray Kurzweil is uh, a computer scientist uh, who's 60, and he made a lot of money uh, back in the day doing sort of text recognition and, and a lot of computer software. But in the late 80s, early 90s, he started going into future gazing, and it's that how he's really, that's how he's really got his name. Okay, he's going to be heading a, this school of futurology, which a number of serious companies have put uh, a lot of money into. What kind of courses will you be able to follow there? Well, the idea is you go on like a nine-week course and you spend the first three weeks studying ten fields and that's going to be energy, biotechnology, nanotechnology, artificial intelligence. And it's all of these really sort of cutting-edge technologies that Ray Kurzweil thinks are going to um, come together as one overwhelming sort of uh, advance. And suddenly we're going to hit this point he calls a singularity where technology just flies away from us and suddenly it transforms society. So you spend three weeks studying those and then you go into depth on one of them over the next three weeks and then you finish the course with a project like all courses. Uh, so given that NASA and Google are, are, are backing this, uh, are we to take it and him seriously? Well, he's a really interesting one. He's undoubtedly got moments of brilliance in him but there are a lot of people who are quite skeptical of his ideas and if you look at some of his previous uh, predictions they they've not come to pass well what kind of things has he been responsible well for, for? for example this year 2009 instead of having computer screens we would be expecting according to Kurzweil to have all of that data just uh, beamed directly to our retinas um, 2010 would see the year that supercomputer achieves the capability of the human brain um, and I don't think those are going to happen no so why take him seriously then well, he is well-trained, he's competent in the field, and he has made a lot of money doing tech around the States and being a very successful entrepreneur. He's not, um, no one thinks he's an idiot uh, at all. So it's really just the problem with future gazing. How, how accurate can you be? Mm. And I think people give him a lot of time. People do think that he can drive things forward and that he can really inspire people. But actually, what will happen, whether his uh, hopes will come to pass, is another matter. And I guess, as with many things, you can have 100 crazy ideas. One of them, if you hit on, on the bingo idea, you're, 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 you're the next big thing, aren't you? That's exactly right. But there do seem to, does seem to be this sort of uh, type of person, though, who, who can become obsessed with their own mortality. And so... Doesn't he think he's going to live forever, this guy? Well, put it like this. He's reluctant to accept his own mortality. Oh, right, okay. um, and so he has a three-step process of living forever. And basically, the first one is ling live long enough for biotechnology to understand aging and for nanotechnology to rewind it. Um, so he 